subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a custom model. So let's get to the screen and check how we can. I'm creating one H1 type. Here we will write something as MS Code Channel. Then I'll create one button. Let it be open model. This button is open model, and then I am going to create a over model overlay. Give for model overlay, and inside that I want model content, and the content here will be H2. Uh, welcome to MS Code and let the single paragraph subscribe the like subscribe like okay. now let's save the changes let me open this with the uh, open life server as you can see by default it looks like this now we want this to be an overlay so corner i'm just giving it an id um little id we custom overlay okay now let's do the css first so body margin zero adding zero let the then center align item center height should be that pH then yeah and this that set and select direction this color okay now what we have we have H1 so we will define H1 here and let one or we can write color as red one size as 20 we will just give you one family of center then what we want to give one eight and eight hundred if we can go to the screen this is what it looks like now I'm just simply doing some this button let me do one thing let the color be white let me add a background and it should be linear gradient it will be 25 degree mark blue more red now this is how it looks like let me add some padding over here padding of 10 pixels now it will look more better now okay. let me add button let button be 10 pixels and 10 pixels background as red or we can do the same as radial gradient of 25 degree from our width now blue then the color for the page white and let font width will be 800 font family will be censored but we don't got the color because radian color is not working here and so why let me check yeah as you can see let it be linear gradient only so yeah, linear gradient looks good uh, let me remove it outline is none and the border is none Save the changes now. We will design this content and model overlay. So, 
called model overlay i simply model overlay so first of all we need position to be max size the z index will be 10 then top here left here next one here right here okay now the background should be rgba and should be track with an opacity of 300 let me add some add top filter and blur this will give some glass effect and let it be display flex let's see if I can do center align and center okay now over the new model okay so its height should be as of now 250 pixel width should be 320 pixel and background should be background should be what you can see yeah uh, let it be white only and display flex flex direction column Align from center and stick out from the center. Then I want to make the tag as mm, the color be kind of blue violet. Mm, what we have H2. I simply copy paste this thing. So if you can see, this is how it looks like. Um, what we need to do, we need to increase the size of our this this width. So let me keep 400. So now it looks better. Or I guess 350 would be cool. Satisfy and let me add some border areas 10 pixels so that it looks somewhat very good. And let me add some, let me copy the same thing from here and let's get it paste the same in the key tag so that the text should look clear. Okay. Now this is what like uh, we have done, we are done with this uh, code here. Let me add some letter spacing to this. Mm. So, no. so initially what we will do, we will display, make it display none initially. So that we can see only this. So when I click on this button, the model should appear. Okay. So for that, we will write a JavaScript code. So here only, we will create a script tag. And inside this button, we will create a function that is on click event. And the function is um, model toggle. And we will pass open here. And the same function we can use for close one. Just the data we are passing should be close. Up so let me copy it again. I just missed. So yeah, we just missed one button here. Button should be close. Okay, and yeah. And it should pass some close. Okay. Now let me create the function as model toggle and 
it will be having some data net s data double equals to open then what we want to do else if data double equals to close and what we want to do so what we want we want to change the display property of this so document dot get element by id dot style of display as flex and here on close we want to be none so now if I click on this you can see some when I click on close it is going but I want to add some animation here so that it looks pretty good so let me add some animation here to this model animation animate 0 0.5 seconds aging out let me create this animate property as there is three times animate zero percent zero percent and let me leave hundred percent so what I will do I will simply transform translate y this end pixel From and can be copied as the same code here and let it be zero first then again from 10 to 5 then again 0 now if I open the model as you can see here yeah, this kind of animation when the model is open as you can see, this is how it's working. One more thing that uh, if you want to like uh, close this model, so when I click on outside, it is not closing. So if you want to close this outside, like when you click on outside, we can simply do one thing. We can simply copy this on click function and let it be on our overlay. Now save the changes. Now if I open the model and I click on anywhere on this overlay, the model is closing. Now as you can see, if I click on close also, if I click on this model overlay, it is also closing. So please, if you like this video, please subscribe, please subscribe and press the thumbs up icon.